It must be deja vu, because Jim Goodwin has his hands on his head. For like the tenth time this season, it's been another bad day for Jim Goodwin. Who couldn't they get a win? And that's what he and Dundee United desperately needed at the final day of the season. I mean, it probably would not have been enough anyway. They, they needed to win by such a margin that it was pretty much impossible from the get-go. However, the result that they needed did go their way in Ayrshire, although they probably did need Kelly to win by a larger margin. But come on, it did beat Ross County by three goals to one. So that means Dundee did it needed to beat Mullerwell by six goals or more. And did they do it? No, did they heck. But they did come back from a losing position. From Kevin one. Van Veen, what a man. Yeah, we knew he would score. I believe that's 11 games now in a row that he scored. That must be close to being a record. 25 goals of the season in the league. You know that's, what? That's could, insane. See, you think about it, like, I, I would put Van Veen above Kyogo for this season. No, I am not. I know Kyogo's a much better player than Van Veen, in my opinion, but when you think of the service Van Veen's been getting, then think of the service that Kyogo gets. I, you would have to imagine if you put Van Veen in the Celtic team. It had it, He'd have 40 goals. He'd have more than 25 goals. And, like, let's let's switch it around. If you put Kyogo in the Motherwell team, does he have 26 goals? 27. 27? Don't think so. I mean, I doubt it. So, but then again, you, you can't really, you know, it's hard to tell. They're in different teams, so whatever. We don't know about that, but we do know as Dundee Red came back, got into a winning position. McGrath with a penalty, Fletcher with a goal. I thought Fletcher was out for the season. He Turns was, out he's back. He's back. Doesn't back matter. in this big game that didn't matter. Will he stay or do you think he'll leave? Stevie Fletcher. I think he'll go. Do you think he'll go to like another Scottish Premiership team? Possibly. Could he return to Hibs? Could he be the Nisbet replacement? Could he be? Maybe. I mean, I, I, if I were the Hibs fan, I wouldn't really want fucking, what, 36-year-old Stephen Fletcher to be the... the re- it's like the Scottish Ebra, apart from it's just not any good. Yeah. But, I mean, Looks like Ebra. Okay, you know what? He had a decent career, but, I mean, I just don't think Stephen Fletcher should be the number one striker for a team wanting to be a top team in Scotland anymore. Yeah. I, I think he would do a job at Hibernian, but I don't think he's a replacement for Nisbet. No, probably not. But as for him, he did make it 2-1. And at this point, it was 2-0 to Kelly, which meant you needed a two-goal swing. Yeah, we needed five more goals. Did we, did we get it? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Because Motherwell equalised with Blair Splittle and then Max Johnson, 82nd minute. And it's like, they couldn't even win. And again, this puts me back to my... We made a video yesterday with the appointment of Jim Goodwin. And it's five games now in the in the split, and he's lost all five of them against the you know, the weaker teams in the league. I, it's been a horrible end to the season for Dundee United. I just don't know if Jim Goodwin, based on that, deserves this job. See, after he got the three games in a row, he won three in a row, and he got them up to tenth. If they give him the job at that point, I'd be like, well, fair enough. Yeah, he's came in, he's turned it around. Everyone thought Dundee United were down anyway, so. I think he did, but the fact that he's got them into a safe position and then lost five in a row against the five weakest teams in the league, to me that's, I, I don't know, I don't think that's job managerial uh, job worthy, but whatever, they've appointed him, what a great end to the season for Mullerwell. Since Stephen Robinson came in, the only team in Scotland to score more points than Mullerwell are Rangers, so I mean I think that's an incredible statistic there for Stephen Robinson, uh, not Stephen Robinson, Stuart Stuart Kettlewell. Right. So there you go. So wait, so they have got more points than Celtic? Since he took over. That's insane. Yeah. Mm. It really is. Uh, but Dundee United, not good enough. Will they come straight back up next year? Probably, but I wouldn't actually bet my, my, my top rocker on it. I wouldn't say there's any guarantees with it. But you look at the, the championship, Dundee United, how they went for beating I said Altmar this season to this, I'll fucking never know. I'll tell you what. And there was a few yeah. seven and nine nils in there, like Well, oh, I know, but after that win against they said Altmar. No one would have thought relegation. No, no one was thinking relegation anyway, let's be honest. People are thinking here that they could get to the group stage. Yeah, and it's all went horribly fucking wrong. I mean, what a night that was for the Dundee United fans at Tanadice. I bet you they never in their wildest dreams could have imagined how this season would turn out. No. So. Absolutely insane, guys, but that is a five goal thriller. It's relegated Dundee United, and you know what? I think over the course of the season, they deserve to go down. Ah, uh, they've been the worst team. They've went through the most managers. They've got, I mean, they've easily got the best team in terms of squad in that bottom six. And look what they've fucking done with. Yeah, no, I mean, come on. Uh, there's been bad. There's, there's teams that have had bad spells. Like you, I said, Altmar, um, made it to the semi-final of the fucking Conference League, and they beat them. 
And they, got, they got a draw against West Ham as well, didn't they? Exactly. So what the well, I don't know what the hell's going on here. But anyway, guys, a lot of players are going to leave. But check out the SPFL review yeah, show. The worst teams went down, so it's all the fair. final SPFL review show of this of the season. It's been a journey. It's been an absolute ride. But until then, peace.